same for score scatter plot we have t1 and t2 and this is the weight this r2x is the weight and r2x1 is the weight so when we write here in in t1 in this location we write pc1 and pc1 in this case is 87 percent and pc2 uh, in this case this one it will be 6.4 percent so this 0.87 will be multiplied by 100 and will be written accordingly the same 0.0647 will be multiplied by with 100 and will be written accordingly there we can also see the summary of fit and if you just bring the cursor here on the green line r2x line on the first component it shows again 87.0494 so it's 0.87 that means 87.0% and then the second component shows 93.5 we have to deduct this 87% from this 93% and the outcome will be our pc2 value of pc2 and which will be the same 6.4 percent this is a bit about uh, the that how we write the, about pc1 and pc2 we can remove this outlier just click on it when we click on this uh, outlier so by default it goes to marked items so it was at the home when i click on it we see that this marked items this tab is highlighted and then we have exclude option here we have include option and we have exclude option if we exclude it now we see a second model is generated by default and it has 59 samples and as it is a second model we need to auto fit again and when i auto fit it i see it that the summary of it is 0.9 and it the summary of fit in the previous model was less than this so this is point means in, in the summary not the summary but in the summary it was the r2x value was as 87 percent while in the second model where we removed the outlier we did it and it is the 92 percent and when i get the, an overview of it and so this is our score scatter plot when we remove the outlier which is much better and much clearer so and if i use the properties and the label and i mark it with the primary now it's clear that this is trout tissue and trout tissue and silver tissue and china tissue so all the tissues are here then the gills are here then skin is here and then this is liver for my tool and when i click on the loading scatter plot then this discrimination means in in this direction, in the right direction when we move from 0 0.0 to 0.6 the right direction we see uh, a discrimination or discriminating factors are these compounds interestingly we can combine all these two scatter plot and loading plot in one plot also so we go to analyze and then we see a by plot so in this by plot if we see it, it's it's quite clear so in the by plot we see our treatments are our samples and then we see the variables if I right click properties go to label and then primary label what it is okay score labels yes we have primary label it was for variables we, have, we just had uh, uh, primary label but for scores we have primary and secondary and if I secondary okay and then we have this beautiful plot we can change the style of these uh, the colors also of these uh, abbreviations the font size are uh, or we can play with, with these axes their font sizes we can just properties with these labels and then colors in by terms by identifiers can be like this 
by identifier and if we change it by density it will be like this so we can anyway by default coloring we mostly do and if we right click and then format plot then we can increase or decrease the axis size or title font of axis and apply and axis general and then it's their width we can increase and we can say the grid lines no grid lines apply so number of things we can do label styles marking style or label symbol style we can change everything that as our own our likeness uh, but i like this uh, by plot always because instead of moving again back to loading and scatter and loading and scatter it's it's very beautiful and nice looking plot sometimes you have huge data set and then this plot become a mess and you cannot i cannot identify things in pca then we, we need to go for PLSDA but if your desire is PCS still then it would be better sometimes that do a loading plot separately and score plot separately okay here we see that in this analyze window we have HCA also we can do this dendrograms just click on HCA and then okay label types hca label types we can change always here whatever is our need color etc etc and then okay and this is our hca by changing the plot format plot we have again the same options and we can change and play with this label length and marking style and fill style etc In case if there is an outlier, we can remove it through exclude. Uh, and in case like here, we see beautiful grouping, but sometimes we don't see these groupings, or sometimes our need is a bit different, our target is different. This was our part. We take its overview and this is this was our segregation and separation of